Hey guys, this is JS5001 coming at you again. And uh, today, and I'm, before I start this video, I'm just going to say that uh, uh, this this reaction video was, was recorded before the incident with, with I had with my friend on May 18th. Uh, I still remember the exact date with like May 18th of what happened with the incident with my friend and all that. But uh, yeah, cause ha part like the beginning of it was like uh, recorded like seven days before the incident happened, and then the rest was recorded today. Which I, since I'm recording this right after, I just record the reaction video. So I'm putting this at the beginning of the video because just to let you guys know like some things are gonna change in the video because like. I'm wearing a different shirt, like I'm just wearing a plain white shirt, because in the beginning of the video I was wearing a brown shirt, and uh, I had shorter hair, so my emotions might have, might have changed, and the other part of the video, like after the beginning, my emotions might have changed and my hair got a little bit thicker, so that's what happens in some of my videos, like sometimes my hair just like gets really short like a buzz cut. And then, like, but no, before it's it's like really thick and long, but then it gets really short. That's just what happens. But it's funny though, because it's just really funny because because like one one time everything's normal, then all of a sudden I get a haircut and everything looks different. Because sometimes when I when I make a video and I'm about to get a haircut, like uh, I just finish up uh what I have for the recording in the in the video or like in a music video or something so I finish up what I what I have what I have left to do for the music video or something else and then I just go get my hair cut and that's just how it is but I just let my hair grow a little bit cuz you know it's not even that long it's not even thick like it used to be it's kind of a pain but I really don't care I'm trying to grow my hair out just a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, here's the, vi here's the reaction video for you guys. And, uh, here you go. Hey guys, this is Jazz Marvel and here again. And today, I'm going to be reacting to WWE's Funniest Moments, WWE Top 10. And, uh, I know I haven't made a video in 10 days. I haven't made a music video since, uh, uh, well, I mean, music video, like, cat videos on the internet, which just, which just came out, like, ten days ago. But, uh, I have a lot of news to bring up, because a lot, a lot has happened in the last ten days, like, ever since I released my last music video. Because, uh, I, I just recently, I just recently re reached, a uh, hundred subscribers, which is awesome, which I'm gonna make a video about. I'm actually gonna do a challenge, I think. To just to add some variety in it, and not just like uh, like just say thanks, thanks for 100 subscribers like I usually do, because you know that that'll just get old at times. Because it's always good to try something new, but yeah, because I never done a challenge before on this channel, but I'm only doing it be because of 100 subscribers just to celebrate. And yeah, the second news is uh, I got a new dog. His name is Galron, and he's like right right down there. He's, he's he's like laying down. He's like sleeping right now. I wish I could show show you guys him, but he's like uh, sleeping right now, and I don't want to wake him up because he's very needy and he's he gets a little annoying at times. But sorry about that long intro. Here we go. I'm about to get medieval, man. <laughs> Obi, book Kenobi. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm his aunt. He's my nephew. He's my yes. 
Yeah. We're sure we can straighten this all out. We could probably go into uh, the will call. Wait, wait a minute. Bobby Heenan. <laughs> and you know something, brothers? Whether it's the millions and millions of rock bands or 20,000 Hulkamaniacs or 20,000 screaming Canaanites. Canaanites? Oh no, Spike! Get the towels! Get the towels! Oh, get the towels! Oh, no, no. Oh, shit. Jesus. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. I got Olympic gold. I got Olympic gold. I got Olympic gold. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn. <laughs> Did you hear them scream in pain when we beat them with those chairs? It was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes. You hear that like I don't? Yes! Please! Oh yeah, God! Yes! Ow! Yes! Ow! Yes! Ow! Yes! Ow! Yes! Ow! 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 That's when I first won the WWF title. <laughs> yeah, yeah look how shiny it is. That's awesome. Good, huh? yeah, yeah. There's more. Check them out. Wow, yeah. man. Oh, this is cool. That's us. <laughs> awesome. We're together. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. I tell you what, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, you That's oh, smart. Yeah. Oh. See you out there later tonight, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take care of DX. I can guarantee you that. No one is going to embarrass me like that ever again. I want to know one thing. How does that make you feel? Well, the rock doesn't are... matter how it makes you feel. Holy, holy, holy! Thanks for watching WWE on YouTube. To be the first to see the new videos from WWE. All right, that was that was actually. Like really, really good, but there's actually more parts. I I've got like a tons of links for for uh, the WWE uh, funny moments. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm just gonna go on to the next one because there's like a ton, like mm, like a lot. Hold on one second. What they think of Kurt Angle. Burning bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. <laughs> I'm the boogeyman, and I'm coming to What the hell? You 
do, I don't waste all these people's time bitching and moaning and bitching 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 and bitching. Are you bitching? Oh no. Who the fuck listens to that? What match is Edge gonna compete in? Next on Raw! Looks like Santino may be the captain of the Raw team. I'm worried. He's got the C on his shirt. This is a little kid. This is guy. Oh shit. Oh, here's the cover. Will it speed up? No. Oh John Cena fans, but you know what? John loves that. He feeds off of that, as you saw. I mean, I think that gave John Cena that, that, that those chants from the. Oh, come on. <laughs> what? Yes, see what I'm telling you? And Ryder and Cena! And missing, as does our group. Cena with both men down. <laughs> What's John thinking here? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you can't see either of these guys in a double five up the shuffle. There goes our truth. You know it. What the fuck was that? Fuck troll, buddy. I got a whole table over there lined up with headphones and pipe bombs. Just waiting for you with your name on it. And if you want, you can go over there and say anything you feel like. Wait, you want me to do commentary? I want you to do commentary. Can I wear your blazer? You can even wear my blazer. I'm in. Uh, one last thing. When you get down there, I'm going to need you to do double duty. Not only are you going to do commentary, if you wouldn't mind, please ring the bell. Double pay. So that guy's getting paid to ring a bell? Well, if that's right, I guess. Sometimes I don't listen. I just like watch and just focus on what's going on. Right here. <coughs> <laughs> a thunderous choke slam. Hey, 
fucked him up. So WWE Divas Champion Maurice has been drafted to Raw, and that was met with a standing ovation by the men in the... Oh, no. Uh... I don't think he's thinking what you're thinking. Not you, I'm after sweetheart. <laughs> I knew they were in a relationship. Because you could honestly tell. That was the funniest, like, I haven't watched a funny video, like, in a really, really long time, and, you know, I mostly watch, watch like, scary, disturbing stuff, but not much of it, because I don't want to watch too much of that stuff. I'm, I'm into that, but not, like, all the time. But if it's funny, I, of course I'll watch it, but if it's scary, I'll watch it too. But, you know, I just haven't watched, like, funny videos in a long time, and I just... Like, like a good laugh once in a while. But yeah. So uh, there's another one. I'm gonna watch. What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Don't be coming and jumping up a chair. Look, Smurf. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get out of here before I have to beat your ass. To the white <laughs> me. They need to be calling y'all the smart for this. Hey. Hey, what are you laughing at? You think this is funny? You know what? Maybe I'll wipe the floor with the next person I see. We'll see how funny that is, huh? Huh? Uh, look a little nervous, like there's an RKO around every corner or something. <laughs> no, 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 that's crazy. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about Randy. I'm not scared of him a bit. It's good. I wouldn't want uh, people to see my WWE champion sweat. Top players are back in the house. Now, we already told you about all the other tag teams and those Matadors. We're still looking for confirmation on where we can find those Puerto Rican bullfighters. We ain't got all day, so on to the next. The tag team champion, Cesaro and Kid. Now, they're two great athletes, and Cesaro is definitely one of the most interesting characters on the WWE roster. He's interesting. Like, what makes Cesaro interesting is he's, uh, he's, he's interesting because he, uh... He's German. Well, actually, he's Swiss. Not, not, they're the same, but different. All right. He, uh, you know, two things that make him interesting. Right here. A hat and a purse? <laughs> Oh my god. I got my glasses out. So embarrassing. Here we go. Tyson Kidd. He may have been trained by the hearts, but his charisma is like church when somebody farts. Oh, nobody saying nothing. I ain't done yet. Now, he's a great athlete. And by no means a wussy. He can't wear the pants in the house. He's whooped by that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about his cats. What cats? Cats are on his trunks. He wears cats on his trunks? He wears cats on his trunks. You know, brother, man, you about to get us fired. Talking about cats, you know, it's a PG program. Let me drop some knowledge on y'all. That. The primetime players are the best, roughest, toughest, and most entertaining tag team in the WWE. That. 
Future Tag Team Champions. That. Worth millions of dollars. That. Let's do it, baby. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. You gotta get on the same page and What's this guy again? He doesn't like eat me or something out there. Don't worry, boss. I know how to talk to Luke Harper. We're actually cousins. Right. Well, you see, Luke's sister and cousin married my Uncle Dave's mechanic. It, don't worry. Where I come from, it just means we're family. <laughs> Where is this guy? <clears throat> oh, shit. Harper, glad we found you. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page and you understand the game plan tonight. All right? Seth will call the play. You do whatever he tells you. Harper, you even hear the words coming out of my mouth? You said you could talk to this guy. Hey, hey, Harper, you're with the program, all right? You want to destroy Ambrose and Reigns just as much as I do. That's your thing, right? Typical of Kane, sticking us with this madman. Is he even going to show up out there tonight, or, or is he going to stay back here staring into nothing all night, huh? Oh, hey, 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 You broke my concentration. I was busy thinking of all the ways I was going to hurt Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Pain is my specialty. Don't get in my way. I already knew he was scared of him. Change the channel because Axel I'm an Axel maniac. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's a guy who doesn't know who he is and tries to be someone else. So Damien Sandow, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? <laughs> stop it! Stop it! I said stop it! I said stop it! You knock this off now! Knock it off! Knock it off! Knock it off! Right. You think this is funny? You think this is funny? They said it. Get out of the axe man's ring now. Get out of the axe man's ring now. Uh oh. Oh. It's That's one way to piss someone off. Yeah, huh? there you go. Learn your Latin book. 
Nice hook on a grab. Dogs actually like. Oh, it's that same guy. Is this the guy who mocks everybody? That was, that was a good one. I still have more to do, but yeah, that, was, <laughs> that guy was mocking a lot of people, and it was pissing, pissing them all off, so yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. So we'll see you in the next one. You see, it's been about a year since I've been the WWE Champion. And come to think of it, I'm not just out to stop Big Show. That money in the bank, I'm going to win the whole fudging thing. You crying? I ain't crying, man. Oh, man, fuck it up, man. Man, don't know. be like Chris Bosh. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, get it together. It's over, though. Hey, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it ain't over. See that started rapping, it all went south. Know your role, jabroni, and shut your mouth, let's rock. Yeah, but Randy doesn't even know he's facing Daniel Bryan next week. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Orange got to think he's nuts. Eve here has apparently been sipping the skank juice. His arms are broken, show, so you can't even... Do. What are you, nine? Most of our viewers are around that age. Somebody call my mama! <laughs> the fuck? And for the past few weeks, Rock's been legitimately pissed. If you get stuck singing your song tonight, Rock, it's all in the wrist. My only source of pleasure is eviscerating people. And even I find you mentally unstable. See, let me explain this. You see, you see, you see, the thing on the left got freaky with the thing in the middle, and then out popped John Cena. Oh. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna need for you to recite your alphabet backwards. Is there a police officer, like a real one? Can't be a real police officer. Okay, all right, hang on a minute. Must be one of the guards Did you tell him to be quiet? I can't stadium. Backwards? Has anybody in the history of the alphabet ever the recited ring. it backwards? Uh, Z, X, Z, X, Y, there's a, there's a V, there's a V in there somewhere, I know. I mean... Listen, to, listen to me. We, we've been friends a long time, John. It's me. Okay, listen, John. Friends? Uh, you, you know, friends? I think... Friends? 
You want to talk about friends because of you? I lost a damn good friend in Zack Ryder. I lost a broski for a hostie. Makes you feel about what had happened before. I don't want to talk about that too much. You can't lose. You have to find that John Cena. No, don't, don't put your hands up in the air. You listen to me. Sir, you can't recite the alphabet backwards. I'm going to need you to walk this straight line right here. What line? This man is obviously intoxicated. See? That's not an original thought, punk. Here's an original thought. You're still a wannabe. Oh. And Brian, if you're talking about people stealing your catchphrases, I wouldn't complain about it. It happens to me all the time. No offense, Mr. Best in the World. Uh, n none taken, Mr. Bon Jovi. Team bring it, he's team lost it, and the truth is getting scary. Because they weren't chanting Rocky last week, they were chanting Tooth Fairy. I can do this. I just need one more chance. Oh, man. He's going to screw up. He's going to screw up. I guess he's going to fall. Why? X. Of some other catchphrases that you can use, not just the Listen, same. Listen, nobody asked you to be a part of this. Conversation. Would you please shut the hell up? W V U and allow me to welcome all of you to Raw. S T R Q P O N. He's gonna fall. None of you in this ring will ever. What the fuck is wrong with him? Be the same again. Sounds like that guy wants to be a metal singer. L K J I H. Uh, the worst moonwalk ever, I know. Benjamin Franklin uh, would have looked at the rock and looked up and said, screw that damn kite. That man invented electricity. Gifts. A gift like this. They'd be, they'd be singing songs onto the rock, sounding something. Why is he wearing like a pirate this. hat? Johnny Cena went to town riding on a pony. Rock stuck a feather up his ass and called a macho brony. E D C B. Is he walking back because he forgets the other letters? I can't remember. A. Oh, boy! Oh, fuck. Can you imagine, Jesus, waking up to this face every morning? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, time to get your ass whooped. <laughs> Got the John Cena garden gnome. What fourth dimension of hell did this come from? There's a, there's a man right now in his 30s or 40s who actually has this in his garden, and he's a virgin. What else we got right here? To John Cena wristbands, yeah! Making him look like a transvestite Wonder Woman fighting crime! Pew, 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 pew! So I am here! So is this guy. I just survived an extreme rules match.
match with former UFC champion Brock Lesnar, and you're going to make my life more difficult. The only thing difficult oh, right now is the man. fact that I have to sit and listen to you run this program down in the good name of people power. Thank you. Thank you for being a short-sighted corporate jackass who sounds like he smokes five black pounds. Who sounds like he smokes five lifetimes worth of cigarettes and has got his head so far up his own ass that he brushes his teeth with toilet paper. See, his mom can barely walk and we're dancing called... I never watched WWE before. Boots to asses. Alright, well... Yeah, so uh, this is my first time being back from uh, the depression of what happened with my friends, and uh, yeah, so I'm back, and yeah, so I'm doing my reactions again, and yeah, so I'm on to the next one. Decision from being in the Funkasaurus from Rome? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Me and my girl Naomi thought you were the coolest cat around. But we did hear that you know how to get funky. <laughs> Somebody call my mama. Oh, no. I just saw this one. That's scary. Woo woo woo! You know it! <laughs> Stole the girls away from them. This should not happen the day after Thanksgiving. This man is full of food. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This isn't gonna end well. Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Oh, man. Day after Thanksgiving, and he's really sick. Oh, he's gonna throw up. I see that happen. Oh no. Oh no, no, that's that. Oh no, it's gonna be heavy. Just grab the hat out of it. Oh no, it's. Oh. That's gross. Good thing they're sensitive. Good thing they're sensitive. I don't want to see vomit. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh what the fuck. That's been the worst Thanksgiving ever for him. Shows it too. Oh. Uh, uh. Disgusting burp. That guy has a massive mustache.
the big show. Well, oh, hold on. Something's. God damn it. One second. Sorry, guys, my internet went down just a few seconds ago, and it stopped me from doing the reaction video because, I don't know, the video just stopped working. Like, my browser just stopped randomly because uh, my power went out yesterday. But, uh. Here we go, I'm gonna try and see if it works. One second. There you go. It works now. The fuck? Let those little midgets beat him up? Oh my god. Why do they have this music playing in the background? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought it was gonna hit him in the nuts. my time if you want to come into my office and talk this what trash to me what do you want it's annoying isn't it it is annoying i came in here to give you a breathalyzer steve you're running a show drinking beers can can you say the alphabet backwards well i can whip your ass backwards <laughs> i actually came in here to you. see you've done one good thing tonight i'm shocked you pulled that off not being sober and all, but you gave me a match with John Cena, and I want to thank you because I know most of your greatest moments are behind you, but you just set in motion something that is going to change the landscape of the WWE forever. Oh. And that's the bottom line. Is that a fact? Because now you're going to jack my lines, too, huh? Well, let me make clear. Nexus ain't around, allowed around ringside. You get me? No Nexus. Is that fine? That's fine. I can get it done by myself. Okay. Well, I've got other things to do. I got an announcement that uh, I'm going to go announce to the world right now. So I'll see you later. Punk. <laughs> that same guy that likes to imitate other people. Just nag them. The most must-see WWE superstar is back on Monday Night Raw! It's been three weeks, so this is huge. Social media is buzzing. Its ratings are spiking. At oh.
to see him. Who the hell do you think you are? You're trying to steal my spotlight right now, just like you tried to steal my spotlight hey, in the middle. Hey, Miz, how you doing, man? <laughs> yeah, good to see you. All right, yeah, you wear your little thing, you're looking like a blind nun. All right, hey, do me a favor and park the rock's truck. Oh, man. I'd really love to have you on my show, Alberto, but um, I just don't feel like it. Hey! Mark boy, this time now, I'm going to go more to Listen, you American reject. In Bulgaria, every day is the rumble. I had to take kids off the bus so I could go to school. My trainer used to throw a steak in the middle of the ring so I could fight to eat. One man, two, 29, it doesn't matter. One of us, one of us is going to win the Royal Rumble. I didn't quite understand a word that he said. You're not that smart. But, so with all due respect to Lana, like it seems that whenever it matters, Rusev always comes up just a little short. Gold dust. <clears throat> Text me, call me. Hey! What the fuck? I promise you, I won't even ask. Look, man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to start you. All they want to know is, will you be my tag team partner? Think of it. Golden truth. It's up there. It's hot, right? Oh, I'm flattered. Bro, I appreciate it. I don't want to tag with you, man. But why? <laughs> You're a weirdo. <laughs> oh, you got doo-doo on your foot. Oh, fuck. Weirdo? Is you? That's the truth. Well, who was your last tag team partner? Hmm? What it got to do with it? It's got everything to do with it. And yes, I'm going there, wasn't it? Little Jimmy, little Jimmy Pooh. <laughs> and wasn't little Jimmy? You. Imaginaries. <laughs> gonna cut me in my pinky toe? You gonna cut me to the white meat? White meat? What? White meat? What is it? Pretty damn deep cut. Wait! Did I say imaginary? I meant interplanetary, like my weird old brother. Ah! Ooh, ooh. What's up, Truth? Ooh. Hey! Hey, man. How are you? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm hey, good, good to see you, Shaw. Hey, you know what's crazy? I run into you because. Just yesterday afternoon, I was watching the Royal Rumble that you and I were in, right? I was watching on WWE Network. And it was the one where both of us went over the top rope, right? And you fell on the floor, but I held on. And I won, right? You went over first. Yeah, I actually but won. the great, yeah, because you were telling everybody that I told everybody. my feet hit the floor. They did. I actually won that one. What's crazy is, I agree, you should have won. That's gonna, crazy, right? Hit him I mean, in the face. how different your life would have been if you would have won. You know what's crazy is the director of The Mummy Returns watched that Royal Rumble and said, whoever wins this Royal Rumble, I'm going to cast as a Scorpion King. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that should have been you. You should have been the Scorpion King. You could have been the one hunting Vin Diesel's candy ass down in Fast and Furious. You could have been the one in a helicopter saving is your family trying? in the world's biggest earthquake. You could have been breaking box office records, man, but hey, such is life, right? Yeah, such, such, such is life. Okay. That is awesome! Oh, man, that's so cool. That's what you do. You break things, right? That's what I do. Hey, man, come here, man. I love you, big dog. Yeah. Love you, too. Hey, 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 hey. You all right. <laughs> All right. Made him look bad. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I just got here. I gotta check out the Jimi Hendrix exhibit first at the EMP Museum. Get out of your back. All right? Peace, I am. No, you didn't, dog. No, you didn't. What you doing, dog? Hey, Joe. Yeah. That's the same guy. My name ain't Joe, it's true. Excuse me. Well, I can... Come on, our Trizzle, look at me. Jimmy, you get it? I'm just trying to show you right now what I'm capable of as a tag team partner. Watch this. You might think it. What you gonna do? How's that Watch even gonna help? Okay? Oh. Oh. oh no, I just destroy your Jimmy. Oh, and the wind cries in the Jimmy. Hey, bro, I think that was a bad call. What? Bad call? You better have it. That's my bad moment. All right, all right. Come on. Come hey, on, sir. You can't get come your down. hands off me, you filthy animal. <laughs> you can't come down here messing these people's stuff up like that. Do the truth. He must have purple haze on his mind. Two of the strings are still attached. Oh, it's been a long time, right? It's been a minute. The last time you and I together, we were in Brooklyn on Monday Night Raw. It was me, you, Rusev. Remember that? That was an amazing night. And then remember, you came to my hotel room and surprised me that night. Yeah, that was crazy. Remember that? And you told me you didn't want to be with Rusev anymore. You said he was big, he was hairy, he smelled like rotten testicles. And I'm like, okay, well, let's just talk. Remember that? And then we, you bought out the wine and we got drunk and we did those special exercises. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, look at you playing coy. No, well, we didn't. Yes, we did. Yeah, remember you told me how you you showed me how to do the the one-legged Russian vacuum. Yes. Remember I showed you how to do the Wisconsin wheelbarrow. Mm-hmm. I know you remember. I know you remember the DJ mustache, right? Yeah, you do. Yes, you do, girl. Don't, don't do that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Girl. Hey, we were just talking about you, kinda. Hey, were you, are you guys still together? I heard you broke up. We're actually engaged to be married. You're engaged to be married? Mazel, that's fantastic news. That's awesome. Oh, congratulations. Oh, you're gonna make an amazing wife. And you, you got a hell of a woman here. She's flexible as all hell. Whoa, I mean, it's amazing. You're gonna have a great marriage. And hey, 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 hey. You all right. Yeah. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Who's with this guy? Oh, Go, Desert. What happened tonight? I'm not going to be able to have your back in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania. It's brother against brother, team against team, but I wasn't trying to shh. I know this is hard. You should let me do the thinking for the both of us. That's what teammates do for one another. But we are not a team, Truth. That's what makes this so difficult, man. So that guy just keeps stalking him? He was mad for himself indeed. Thanks, partner. <laughs> I think it's funny, but it's not. The champ is here. Ryback, is the reason you're not on the SummerSlam pay-per-view this Sunday due to the brutality you've shown against some of your opponents? Ryback, is the reason why you're not on the pay-per-view Sunday? <laughs> You're going to SummerSlam? Oh yeah! I'll be there. What are you going to be there for? What, does somebody need to park their car outside the building? It's an unarming uh, the nature boy. He's fired. He's trying to do his job.
Full step here, let's just say that the Alliance may not have the rock, but you can still have the pot. <laughs> works for you. you. Go to the ring. Quality isn't really so good in this video. It's like 240, 240 quality. 2006 quality. I'm not sure if these are really old videos. Randy has voices inside his head. Just watch oh, it just changes it sometimes. Puts me to bed. It puts me to sleep. Randy walks down here on this ramp. His expression stays the same. Does his pose up in the corner. Can't think of anything more lame. Oh, shit. So from here on out, no more shenanigans. Because I want to avoid doing this painting myself into a corner <laughs> it's just a stick figure I'm gonna put some details in here drawings some people can't draw but that's all right though they can learn though you just learn Right over there. What? What the hell? You've assembled Harvey Whippleman in the Brooklyn Brawler? No, no, not over there. Over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dad? Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You get that in his eye. The Rock says, what you gonna do when the 24... No, wait, that's not it, that's not it. That's not it. This is it. <laughs> to be the man, woo, you gotta beat... No, wait, that's not it. Oh, man. Oh, this is it. Ooh, yeah, I did... Oh, damn it, that's not it either. Oh, wait, this is it. This is it. I am... Oh my either. god. That damn show ain't it. Put it there. You're gonna be crawling out of Hammerstein Ballroom with a broken freaking neck. Our truth. Is it true that you start every morning by singing Susan Boyle's I Dreamed a Dream into a hairbrush while crying? False. <laughs> Okay, Trump, it's a good song. I knew it. I knew it. That's true. And it's a good song. That must be embarrassing. I'll think about it. You'll think about it? I don't think there's anything to think about here, Randy. Whoa, 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 whoa. With that attitude. With that attitude, man, you, got, you better back off and rethink this. I'll think about it. Randy, you have to do the right thing. Please, Randy. I can sympathize with you. I'm sure a lot of other people can sympathize with you too. Um, okay, fine. I'll think of it. Victory lap! I'm beating a wild animal! How come sometimes it looks like these guys running around in their underwear? Must be their suits or something, but it's just I don't know. It's just I always thought that it was like un, they're just running around in their underwear. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. So um, yeah, this is WWE Funny Moments. It's just called that. It's not even called uh like Part Eight or some something like uh just called WWE Funny Moments.
It's like the longest one out of them all, so it's probably going to be like a half an hour long video, like 30, 40 minutes long, probably an hour. It's probably one of the most longest reaction videos I've ever did. So um, this is the last one. Here we go. The true Triple H shall set you free. That's uh, made a match for Michael Cole and apparently brought him some gear. Cole's going to put it on. Jay, hey, welcome back. This is a blimp. Come back, King. I'll hey, tell you. Blimp. But, uh, hey, this is a blimp. Then it's a pick up. Yes. I guess it's out with the old and in with the new. The man, that man, the man that's been a part of the conspiracy since day one is now the man in the WWE. Congratulations, Triple H. Don't what me. Congratulations. Congratulations. Unlike Michael Cole, I like what I see. You see, I see a new day. I see a new regime. Etc. Etc. But what I really want to know is. Are they shouting what? What are you going to do exactly for me? Be hold on before you say this. Little Jimmy! Little Jimmy cost me my match at Capital Punishment. Spiders and Heights cost me the money in the bank briefcase. You don't know, like spiders, you don't know, like heights. I just want to know what are you going to do? What are you going to do to rectify the conspiracy against the truth? That's getting really annoying. I guess that's just how they do it. You talking to me, you talking to these other guys. <laughs> what other guys? You talking to me? I'm you talking to me? I'm talking to you, you talking to me, are you talking to these other guys here? Ain't no other guys behind me. I know. He think this is a joke. He think we joking. Do you think this is a joke? No, 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 no. I don't think this is a joke. I just think this that... This guy just makes me feel so underwhelmed. No, no, I don't think it's a joke. No, he thinks it's a joke. No, but I don't. It's, I mean, yeah, it's funny, you know. Shut up. No, yeah, it's funny. But, oh, you're probably right. He probably needs medication. That's all. <laughs> Oh, see that? Now you made a man. Look at his eyes. <laughs> you know? Uh, dude, That's just freaking scary. He doesn't like how that guy's eyeballing him. Man, you crazy. You're talking to people that don't exist. I know, it's like I'm insane, right? You might be the game, but I'm not playing. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, stop, all of you, stop, all of you. Just hold on right there. There's one other thing I forgot to tell you about. No, I'm gonna get to it right now. I'm gonna about to tell him. I know it's huge. I re-signed the guy. I know how it big it is a blockbuster. Truth, I resigned another guy. I forgot to tell you all about it. And the thing is, when I resigned him, he told me he wanted a piece of you. <laughs> See, last night, that was just a temporary aberration. And mark my words, from now on, no. Oh man, John Cena. 
I hate John Cena so much. Everybody does. I must say I'm impressed. Oh no, it's, it's, it's because, it's because Wayne Barrett, he talks such a big game, I mean, he has to, he's the fearless leader of Nexus. He's got the resolve of Winston Churchill, and he's as tough as Snooky from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> you see, I, uh, Wait, I only say that because last night you tapped out. You tapped out. Apparently all these people saw SummerSlam too. Well, what happened was you tapped out. You caused Team Nexus to lose at SummerSlam, eyes are hurting. and now you're out here trying to talk about, oh well, the loss will make us bigger, it will make us stronger. Wait, it's a lie. Right now you're really thinking, to hell with Stallone, Willis, and Austin, the Nexus are the Expendables. And after that surprise last night, I bet you are kicking yourself directly in the fish and chips, thinking, why did I get rid of Daniel Bryan? See, because when Daniel Bryan joined Team WWE last night at SummerSlam, he eliminated half of the Nexus by himself. For weeks now, the Nexus has been viewed as a group, an indestructible group. And after SummerSlam, one thing was made clear, you are human. You can be beat. So tonight, tonight we're going to do something we've never done before. Instead of looking at you guys as a group, we're going to look at you as individuals. And Wade, you may want to pay close attention because you may find some flaws and decide where you went wrong. We'll take David Otunga. You see... David happens to be nothing more than a below-average male escort who clings to someone's arm on the red carpet. So proud of you, Dave. You've come so far. And Tarver! Well, to be quite honest, Tarver looks like some sort of MMA bank robber who works late nights as a male stripper. Those trunks get me smaller. Those guys are just lined up just to eat. And is that, uh, like, just, is that Heath Slater? These guys are just oh, lined up just just being Wendy's. called names. These guys are just. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll let you be the judge on that one. Those guys are just lined up just to be called names by John Cena. This must be Monday Night Raw. We just got a Wendy's chair. That leads me to Darren Young. This one hits. This one hits a little bit close to the chest. You see, because the very existence of Darren Young has proved my mother true of all these years. I thought she was lying, but she actually did have a lusty affair with Buck Wheat. Then there's Justin Gabriel. I don't, I don't know much about Justin Gabriel except he has an alternative way of thinking. They're just all being called names. It, I will be at the late show to explain. Skip, you look like that was over your head. They're just all being called names. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait! Don't even say a word. You see, you're easy. I took a mind reading course in college. I can read your thoughts. Right now, you are thinking. Heater, jumbo, tugboat. 
Like I said, Wayne, the Nexus is nothing more than human. The fear you have instilled in the locker room is gone. Your psychological edge that you are some sort of indestructible force working for a higher power, see ya, bye! You lost last night, Wayne, and Staples Center SummerSlam will forever be known as the place that Nexus was history! Cena, you don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 byproduct of a gallon of brandy in my mother's celebrity crush. You don't know what you're talking about. You see, you tapped out too. As a matter of fact, you gave up in under a minute. You want to cut to the chase? Your name shouldn't be Darren Young. Your name should be the weakest link. I really had no idea what's going on. Can I have your attention, please? I have received an email from the general manager. Oh my god. And I quote, Nexus may claim they are stronger than ever. But those words are going to be put to a test. We are going to continue SummerSlam tonight. Each member of Nexus will compete against members of Team WWE in a series of matches this evening. Outside interference by Nexus members will be met with swift and appropriate consequences. No, no, no. Now that's not a form of punishment. That, after last night, is an opportunity for redemption. It's also a chance for us to examine the Nexus. Apparently, Wayne, you're going to need a whole lot of redemption after last night because all these people know that you tapped out. Yep. Thank you very much for that interjection. It is a chance for us to examine the Nexus and see if there are indeed any weak links here. And believe me, if there are weak links, they will be weeded out. Because let me tell you this right now. If anybody in the Nexus is not victorious tonight, they will be exiled from the group. So that guy's the leader. In one way or another, that guy's the, the front man. The, the Nexus group. will be stronger than ever. Shoot, that's fine by us, Wade, but just know that also applies to you. If you lose your match tonight, any one of us will be more than happy to take over. Reed just filled it with the emails, Cole. What is it now? I received another email from the general manager. One last thing, Nexus. You can choose amongst yourself who faces which member of Team WWE. Except for Wade Barrett. Mr. Barrett will compete next against his former mentor from NXT, Chris Jericho. A series of individual matches the first one going to be Wade Barrett against Chris Jericho. And it's been stated if the Nexus members lose, they're going to be weeded out. What a night. Finally on to something else.
That was long. It took up most of the video. But it was still pretty good. Everyone knows I'm a better wrestler than CM Punk. I'm better than everyone in the ring at everything, including the audience. That's kind of my deal. Except I back it up every single night. And then there's people like R-Truth who uh, don't even know what state we're in right now. Oh my words! Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Well, if I'm elected, yeah. the first thing I'm gonna do yeah. is trade Vicky Guerrero yeah. and Dolph Ziggler yeah. to SmackDown yeah. for a horn swoggle and a box of spiders. We're not running for office, you idiot. Do you know? How do you work here? King? Uh, no, no, it's okay. Truth, continue. Thank you, Your Honor. What? As I was saying, if I'm elected, yep, this is really happening. I will also make it legally required to shout what? Don't what me. Okay, what me? In every line of the Pledge of Allegiance. Now back to the issue at hand. The box of spiders. Come on. You see, I will take that box of spiders and I will stomp them. And I'm going to put them in a blender. And I'm going to make my grandma's favorite spider stew. Which is high in protein and low in carbs. And then my running mate, little Jimmy, he will watch me go down the spot of stew. That's what give me the energy I need to outlast everyone in the elimination chamber and become the WWE champion. God bless little Jimmy. And God bless the United States of America. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, our truth. Let's let's go um, let's go to the Miz. My mind have gone by the wayside. Well, one thing Miz can do is win this match and get noticed. Get himself back in the hunt. And uh, he said he needed to Alright, well that's it. That's that's all of it. That was a really long reaction video. Like, I have done longer ones, but I haven't done a long one in such a long time. But, yeah, I am back. I'm ma making new reaction videos. And, uh, yeah, because, like, I got in a fight with my friend, and, you know, things have been really difficult, and, like, things are negative at the moment. And, uh, just hope that we could work some things out. Like, you know, but it's just with both my friends. I I, I don't want to talk too much about it though. I'm I'm trying. I'm struggling to get over it, but I am kind of getting over it. But this is to help me get get over it just by doing more videos and reactions and just forgetting about it. Cause it's always a good time to move on. Like the past is in the past, and just forget all about it. Don't worry about it. Things might get better. Things might change who knows we'll never know but uh yeah that's pretty much it please like comment favorite subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next reaction video and i'll see you guys later and bye